Good day. Our topic for today is all about baristo. This is the symbol of baristo, which is located to the rotating parts. This is the rotating parts. Okay. And then this is the exciter. This is the stator. Okay. The, the exciter. But this part only the rotating parts. And then this is the main generator windings this is the stator then this is the winding connected to the rotating parts which is x uh, which belongs to the main generator parts like this okay there is rotating parts and this is the cover for main generator and this part going to this one is the exciter part okay let's start this is the baristor this is the voltage rated, uh, rated voltage for this baristor okay and then this is our tester need to set the ohmmeter or resistance test ohmmeter okay two probes means this is the reading when I short these two probes okay then this is open open right for example this this there is no continuity like this means open in the baristor the better or the good baristor reading is 1000 meg ohms or higher going to infinity okay this one as you can see it's bl uh, it blinking it's blinking it means that is higher than 1000 meg okay opposite side okay. starts to read and increasing and then OL means higher than higher than 100 meg that is our reading for example we do it another way That is the reaction for our multimeter. It reads a resistance and then after that OL means higher than 100 meg. Because OL open line also the meaning of OL is open line. See if I do it like this there is no initial reading about initial reading it means OL open line but in this case in our baristor when I put the probe to these two terminals you read initially a resistance going to OL it means infinity okay vice versa okay that is good how uh, what uh, how to determine if this baristor is bad it means if the baristor is bad it's like short circuit it's like this the reading is like this both sides also like short circuit okay but the good uh, suppressor this is also called a uh, surge suppressor suppressor because it is the protection of our diodes prevent to high voltage transient high voltage or surge voltage sample like this 
the purpose of this diode ah barrestor only to protect this rotating diodes to damage the rotating diodes okay the main purpose this is to protect this main diode what if this surge oppressor removed from this circuit okay removed from this exciter this diode works or not the answer is this diode this diode is working fine working good even though there is no surge suppressor okay but if the time comes there is a surge voltage coming to to our exciter this diode uh, this diode will damage okay but you need to put uh, this is the protection for our exciter semiconductor parts okay if this is damage suppressor if damage I said earlier it's like a shorted okay that is the common the common defect of this barrister is shorted if shorted as you can see in the schematic if this is shorted it means you short this two two terminals means you have problem on your voltage it's because you, you uh, it's like shorting all the windings okay how about this barrister is open there is no problem it's because the diode is still work works without barrister the problem is if you experience high transient voltage or transient voltage or surge voltage this will damage your rectifier or diodes rotating diodes if, if this barrister this barrister is damaged as per manual you need to replace also the diode even though you check the diodes if that is working you need to change all of the parts as per manual okay thank you please like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates thank you very much